15 Strange Things That Seem Normal Only in South Korea South Korea is a country of contrasts, where modern technologies and ancient Eastern traditions harmoniously combine into something totally unique in and of itself. Every journey to this amazing country reveals countless new secrets and mysteries. So here's a selection of the most remarkable findings from South Korea that just might astonish you. 15. They have unbeatable state support for pregnant women. The state definitely goes out of its way to support pregnant women in this country. For example, expecting women in South Korea are given a special credit card from the government with a $500 balance on it. A future mother can spend this money on medical treatment and all necessary supplements and prescriptions. The state also gives these women a little trinket that allows them to use public transport with comfort and ease. Pink subway seats are reserved specifically for expecting mothers, and the trinket activates a sign so that all other passengers know that there's a soon-to-be mommy in the car. This is especially helpful for those in the early stages of pregnancy when it's not so obvious that a woman is expecting. They also get special parking spots near the entrance of most public buildings and other facilities. And they're not just for pregnant women. Mothers can use these parking places up to six months after giving birth. 14. Almost every bus stop has a digital information panel with a bus schedule on it in real time. To start with, there are bus stops conveniently placed near every subway station in Seoul. And all the buses in South Korea are new and equipped with air conditioning. Buses run 24-7, but they don't stop at all scheduled bus stops. That's why you need to be attentive. And when you see the bus you need, you have to signal for it to stop. The public bus system can be pretty confusing at first, especially if you don't know Korean. In Seoul alone, there are over 400 bus routes with 8,500 buses connecting even the farthest corners of the city. At the same time, a taxi ride will cost you almost the same as a bus ticket if you manage to find three or four people to share the cab with you. 13. It's totally normal to try the food in grocery stores. In the majority of Korean supermarkets, there are unlimited samples for you to test. And even if there aren't specific samples laid out for shoppers, nobody controls how much food a customer tries before buying or not buying. 12. South Koreans like to give and receive practical gifts. A traditional gift at a housewarming party is a few rolls of toilet paper. They really love practical gifts like this, and especially ones that can be eaten. For example, management at one South Korean company presented their employees with food baskets. These edible arrangements come in different combinations and can be bought in any grocery store before big festivities. 11. TV hosts wear traditional clothing on the Korean New Year. And that's not the only New Year tradition in this country. The Korean New Year usually takes place in January or February, depending on the time of the second new moon after the winter solstice. Koreans celebrate Solal, or New Year, for three days, on the day before, on, and after the New Year. And if you decide to travel around the country at this time of year, you might encounter some serious obstacles. And that's because everybody visits their families and childhood homes for a festive celebration. Just to highlight exactly how hectic it is, train and bus tickets are usually sold months in advance. As for traveling by car, it can take you four times longer because of enormous traffic jams. 10. Kindergartners have color-coded uniforms. Each kindergarten has a specific uniform in a certain color so that kids don't get lost in the crowd during field trips and walks around the city. You gotta admit, this is so simple yet incredibly logical since teachers can easily spot the kids from their own group. 9. Churches give little pleasant gifts to their parish. 
About four times a year, big churches arrange free visits to dentists and hairstylists for their parish. They even have representatives who actively recruit people and businesses that want to participate in this generous program. The most common way they invite community partners is by distributing free wet wipes with their church's address on them. By the way, South Korea is home to the most visited church in the world, with a parish consisting of over 1 million people a year. 8. High schoolers study until midnight Korean kids have to study a lot. Elementary students have classes from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., middle schoolers go home at 10 p.m., and high schoolers sometimes have to study until 1 in the morning. That's why school libraries are open 24-7. Unfortunately, all this intense cramming doesn't help a child's development. It actually has the opposite effect. Many of them lose interest in hobbies because they simply don't have any time for any kind of a personal life. They study all the time, sleep during their daily commute, and spend any bit of free time on social media. 7. Couples like to wear matching clothes South Korean lovebirds like to let everyone around know that they're an item. In fact, a relationship is supposed to be an all-consuming affair. Couples use social media to brag, have cute little celebrations every 100 days, and even arrange romantic vacations almost every month. Not to mention, they choose to display their in-love status with the help of matching outfits. A lot of paired clothes and shoes can be found in special stores like Sweet Bong Bong, Couple Plaza, or Couple Market. Sweethearts of any age can find just what they're looking for. 6. The best gift for a teacher is a cup of coffee or candy. While you might remember giving your teacher an apple or some flowers, South Korean parents and children like to show their gratitude to a teacher by giving them candy or a cup of coffee. What's more, there's an established gift-giving culture in Korea with certain rules. For example, big gifts to teachers or public officials are considered bribes. And when somebody visits your home in this country, you can be sure that they'll bring a drink, dessert, or fruit. 5. They have themed subway cars There are lots of themed subway cars dedicated to certain cartoon characters. Stations are even announced in these characters' voices, and they have life-size sculptures of them sitting on the seats. In Seoul, there's a subway train dedicated to a comedy animated series called Larva. It runs on the green line eight times a day and features two of the cartoon's main characters in every car. 4. It's a more isolated country than we think. Koreans practically never listen to music or watch movies from other countries. They're not very familiar with Western traditions, and they don't even have geography at school. At the same time, they'd be happy to tell you anything you want to know about K-pop singers and bands. The most popular musical group among the South Korean youth is the boy band BTS. 3. They don't really eat dogs This is a dying trend in South Korea since almost the entire young generation has never even tried dog meat. Now, it is still possible to try this dish there, but it's extremely expensive. Modern Korean cuisine is really healthy. They usually eat grilled meat, without oil, a lot of vegetables and plants, and rice. But even more than rice, Koreans love coffee. Me too. 2. There's a lack of trash bins but plenty of public restrooms. You won't find any trash bins on the street in South Korea because the people there are super tidy. Now you might be thinking, what are you supposed to do with your empty water bottle? Well, there are lots of public restrooms around with trash cans inside. You can find them at each subway station and in every park. The restrooms are very clean and come with all the necessary amenities. They have separate stalls for disabled people and women's restrooms are, of course, equipped with diaper-changing stations. 1. South Koreans' workaholism has no limits The government of South Korea has recently taken an active fight against workaholism, which has become a countrywide disease. 
office workers are now required, by law, to turn off their computers on Friday evening. Everybody is supposed to abide by this new rule, but on special occasions some exclusions can be made. Public officials are also exempt, 67% to be precise. This drastic measure is necessary to force people to have a healthy work-life balance. Still, not all South Koreans appreciate this new law. Have you ever been to South Korea? If so, what impressed you most of all?